Now when it comes to survival in a grid down situation, one of the things that a lot of people really don't consider is going to the bathroom. If you have running water, you can flush your toilet. But if water goes down, which it can, uh, you know, nationally it can in a crisis, it can in a environmental crisis. But long term, waste disposal is going to be very important. I've looked at a number of different methods and uh, I've come across something. In fact, I found this on Pinterest. Very simple way to make a toilet using one of the five gallon buckets. I mean, they have them all over the place. In fact, I think I picked this one up at Walmart. And we're going to show you how to make a toilet that's comfortable and yet makes it easy to dispose of your waste in a grid down situation. Now this video will first be shown on Survival Dispatch Insider. It is one of the best resources on the web if you are into prepping and survival. Some of the most famous, world-renowned contributors are there on the Insider. We upload exclusive videos there once a week. I'll have a link down below in the description. Check it out. Now one thing that I love about this project is that it's really inexpensive and it's really easy to do. Uh, there's no drilling, there's no cutting wood. I mean, it's just very simple. And so what you need is a five gallon bucket. You'll need a pool noodle, <laughs> which right now in the springtime, these are very easy to come by. Uh, also a garbage bag, roll of toilet paper, some cat litter is really good to have. And then some kind of razor, a way to cut your pool noodle. Pool noodle is gonna be your seat. And so we're gonna take and measure this out for length. Then we're gonna cut a slit all the way down through here to be able to fit it to the bucket. So I just take it, bend it around, and I kind of estimate. We can have a gap in the, in the front. So just an estimate would work. We're gonna take our razor and just cut all the way around. Now that was simple enough. Next, we want to just cut a slit all the way down one side. Try to keep it as even as you can. And then just open it up. And guys, that was really easy to do. I wasn't really sure how this small thin razor would do, uh, but of course you could use any kind of knife or any kind of sharp object. Next, we're just gonna put it over the lip of our bucket. And again, if we need to, we can cut this pool noodle a little short if we need to. Now, if you have any areas that seem to bunch up, if you push it down over the lip, it seems to be fine. This way we can set going forward. And this is just gonna be very comfortable. But now once we have the pool noodle cut, we're gonna wanna remove it. The handle is very important for two things. Number one, we can actually go ahead and attach our toilet paper onto the handle. You can just push this, compress it in, and it'll pop it back into place. Now we have our toilet paper. Now we can go ahead and put our bag back in. And then we place on our pool noodle. One thing that will happen is the slicker the bag, the harder it is for this pool noodle to stay in place. And these bags in particular seem to be very slick. Here we have everything set and we're ready to go, literally. <laughs> of course, this makes a great seat in itself. Now, one thing that the cat litter is for is once you have to go, you can put cat litter in there and it'll help with the smell. And so that is a definite plus. Not necessarily mandatory, but you'll be glad you got some. So guys, by the time it takes you to actually go to the bathroom, you could have one of these made, very simply. So very cheap, very easy to make, and a necessary item in a grid down situation. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America, long live the Republic. noodle and we're gonna go ahead and now this pool noodle is now the pool noodle then we want to take and cut a and then we want to if you want to definitely have a handle this allows you and we're ready to go literally <laughs>